राधे राधे वेलकम टू भगवद गीता स्टडी प्रीवियसली आई हैड स्टेटेड दैट आई वुड नॉट बी रिव्यूइंग एनी मोर वर्शन आई विल नॉट बी बाइंग एनी मोर वर्शन ऑफ भगवद गीता फॉर द ईयर हवर दिस इज द लास्ट वन फॉर दिस ईयर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बाई एनी न्यू वंस एनी मोर एंड दिस इज ओनली बिकॉज दिस वॉज अन इंटेंडेड परचेस क्वाइट अ वाइल अगो लाइक फ्यू मंथस अगो आई थिंक ड्यूरिंग द समर if i remember right yeah during july or maybe in june there was an event uh, where nachur venkatraman who is the commentator here he is now swami ramana Char- charana teertha he has already taken sanyas at that time when i was uh, watching his videos he wasn't a sanyasi then shri nochur venkatraman um, needs no introduction for south indians especially people from kerala and uh, tamil nadu know him very well his uh, channel is voice of rishis which i'm going to link the bhagavad gita english version that he has discussed so that you can get a feel of uh, how his lectures are designed and when he had given uh, bhagavad gita classes not classes but it's like um event it was an event where he was teaching bhagavad gita at the end of it i think it happened somewhere in coimbatore or some uh, tamil nadu city i was watching the live from here and at the end of the event he had introduced or this was unveiled his commentary was unveiled and i had already decided that i would buy them but the delay was finding out how to buy it in us because this is available in india through voiceofrishis.org i will leave the website down below and uh, this is not sold through any links in united states i had to contact some people like at that event when he was releasing this he was saying that people could volunteer and sell these in the united states and uh, i even a thought of stocking them up came up in my mind but i didn't go through with it and then i found out after a long time after my return to i mean i could have bought it in india but it just didn't occur to me i came back and then found out who was selling it here <coughs> two people one from seattle and one from somewhere else they have volunteered they've stocked up his books and they're selling from there i found out their number and and i started to uh, text them and then they arrived very recently two weeks ago so that's the background of where these um, three volumes came from so there's a hard cover version and then is this is the paperback i bought uh, five copies of three volumes five because uh, one is for me three others are for my family members they are gifts and i have one extra copy um uh, which if i you know feel that anybody wants it i may just give it away or sell it depending upon how it goes it retails 43 dollars or uh, three of these i think 43 ish if i remember because i bought five i don't remember the exact price but that was in that range the paper bag is 40 ish and i think uh, the hard cover was 50 plus and i bought one hard cover for one of my aunts who lives here so the the reason why i got this commentary was not to make this my main study of course i just started reading it and this is i should say one of the most um different like extremely different commentary in what ways is something that i i, I possibly cannot put in words let me start by saying he is called swami ramana charana tirtha for a reason he is into ramana's teachings a lot and his his entire uh, life is about making ramana maharishi's teaching a reality he is a student of vedanta of course advaita vedanta when we say ramana maharishi but particularly um, 
in line with his who am I inquiry kind of teaching. Now, this commentary, um, I'm just, I just started it. And before I go ahead with the contents, let's look at the book structure and um, other external things. Of course, lovely cover. I haven't opened the hardcover one because I'm going to gift it. I don't want to mess up anything. This is my copy. Uh, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful blue with this. I just cannot get enough of the cover. And it's also called Vyasa Aushada. The Divine Herb Revealed by Bhagavan Veda Vyasa. So you have Veda Vyasa's picture here. And all the chapters have been separated this way with the colorings. So that this is the first chapter and then you can go to chapter 2 and then you go, you can go to chapter 3. And the first volume um, has 1 to 5 and second volume has 6 to 11 and the third volume has 12 to 18. Now at the end of each chapter you have wait for it if you're Ramana Maharishi fan tada uh, pictures of uh, Maharishi it's just I don't know about others but um, I cannot help but tear up when I say this when I see Ramana Maharishi's pictures they just they just still my mind I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody because anybody that has ever seen Maharishi's picture has always said that they have the same effect and then picture of swamiji swami vekananda and this is one of ramana maharishi's disciples let's see what we have here another ramana i think younger ramana ramana maharishi bhagavan shri ramana maharishi and the last one is one of his disciples if i uh, if i'm right and then it, every every volume has the same thing. Pictures from Ramana Maharshi and his ashram, etc. So, to put how this is very much engaging and I cannot keep this volume down. I've been reading this like continuously. And when you look at the verse, the verse is just Sanskrit verse. There is no transliteration. There is a meaning and then there is the purport. This purport, for the sake of explanation, I have to compare, not compare, but kind of contrast this with uh, Swami Ranganathananda. The way Swami Ranganathananda's purport is, you feel like you're talking to a friend. Yes, it's very Advaitic. There is philosophy, Advaita, um, through and through in this, in this uh, work. However, it's like exactly in the light of modern thought and modern needs. It's like talking to a friend about current problems and then also looking at the current issues through Gita's lenses. That's how it feels like when you read this. And for the, I don't know why, for many reasons, this could be my main study. I mean, by study, I could go in here and take a few things and just take more notes and everything but i don't think that would be how i will use this this will not be my study but this would be a good read if you are already exposed to ramana maharishi's works this would be something you thoroughly enjoy and the reason is this does not feel like a commentary as such, like it doesn't give the same feeling of when you, you when you read Tattva Vivechani. From Tattva Vivechani, you seem to take some things and make more notes, go refer and stuff. This this just this just leads you to the next verse. Like uh, you you don't want to do anything else while reading it. If it makes any sense, you don't want to be referring to other verses. You don't want to be doing anything just to. Uh, immerse yourself with the flow of how he has given stuff and entire stuff like entire volume is completely aligned with Ramana Maharishi's teachings 
in any case he would say what it is of course there's something geeta is geeta i always say there is something that's core geeta which shines through but what flows after that is something that the commentator will take you you know with with him so that's exactly what he has done um he takes a few things and he also something that i really liked is these notes here where some of them are even maharishi's exact words in some places and then he also pretty much um reminisces or you know, brings in uh, things from uh, talks with ramana maharishi and there is this one part where i really like where uh krishna being the charioter is just uh, equated with buddha and his charioter how buddha buddha's charioter chana uh, was instrumental in bringing about buddha's uh, illumination or enlightenment so buddha didn't know anything about the four things disease old age death and uh, suffering so he was protected as siddhartha and then he goes around the town and then he sees all this and then he asked the charioter and the charioter somehow um was was an instrument to his enlightenment and so was krishna for arjuna's enlightenment and so forth there are things that you will not expect um it being a part of gita commentary but which makes total sense and this is a very very interesting enjoyable and uh, not interesting but enjoyable completely deep and simple at the same time i am unable to explain this in any words as i said but this i have not able to keep it down the the way i read things is i don't read things fast especially not spiritual stuff i take things in very very it's aushadam it's vyasa aushadam which is herb a divine herb or a medicine you cannot take medicine bottles you know you have to take a few few drops a few amls and just let it sit within you for the disease to go that's exactly what this is that's how you are able to read this but you'll never be able to stop it is what i'm saying i was not able to stop i always go back to this now since it has come i go back to this and how many versions will you go back to every day is will be a question that would be asked it the, the key point is to go to some ver- version in my life i've always touched one gita or the other every day something you know it, there is absolutely no wastage uh, of time at all with gita because if you touch any version if you just read one line i'm telling you you are only getting benefits you cannot go wrong so this is something that i definitely recommend especially if you are already enjoying ramana maharishi's teachings yes you'll probably like this more and uh, because this is not something i would say um, i i have not used it as my main study so i don't know if this would be a study material for me uh, rather this is okay this is how i can put this this is like a vedantic manana book here you go that's what this is this is vedantic text but meant for manana rather manana is just contemplation not for studying like active studying taking notes looking at it reading again putting post its giving reminders that's not what you'll do with this because this is this is something that would take you to the real source of vedanta and make you stop then just contemplate if you are into that you're already doing vedanta shravana which is your always you know listening to lectures of advaita vedanta and then you want to do manana which is to contemplate this is a very good book highly recommended so i i really enjoyed this i i mean i'm very very careful not even careful i'm feeling inadequate in saying things about this only because enjoying is only for worldly things i don't know what word would be sufficient to say how beautiful this commentary is and how grateful i am for this so to for you to understand 
how and why I am expressing all this. You might want to listen to the playlist that I have placed below uh, in this video. And, you, you know, please check out if you are somebody from south of India and you know Malayalam or Tamil, of course, you might probably already know him, but check out his uh, stuff. But if, uh, if, you're, if you're not, and if you only know English, and then his English, uh, he doesn't give much uh, English lectures. I don't see many collections of his. I have Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, and some other uh, lectures on Ramana Maharishi that are in English. Ramana Maharishi's works in particular. Upadesha Saram, I think uh, there was one in English. So another good thing about him and his uh, works, his lectures and teachings, is that in voiceofrishis.org, you are able to download his lectures. I have downloaded many, but I've always donated some amount. It's not mandatory. You can donate whatever you want. And I've always donated only because uh, these teachings are to be treasured and people who are able to teach this way, uh, really organization and the infrastructure needs to be supported he does not he did not belong to any organization in particular even now i think he's just taken up sannyasam he doesn't belong to any matter or anything as much as i know but whatever it is uh, my my humble request is that if you're downloading uh, from his website you know try donate it's a, it's like giving guru your dakshina it's uh, this is the way now you know, in Kali Yuga, in, in this digital age, this is how teachings work. This is not where you know, now in Naimi Saranya, all the rishis sit and, and somebody is teaching and it's passed on. That's not like that. The world has become this way now and this is the way you can give your Guru Dakshana to um, Guru Sri Ramana Sarana Tirtha. Uh, this is his previous name. His name is uh, Nochur Venkat Raman. And now he is Swami Ramana Charanatirtha. I hope you enjoyed this video and the paper quality is good. And uh, the font is reasonably big. And uh, you know it's a very very beautiful book to have and read. If you are into spirituality at all. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for reading Gita. Uh, I hope your study goes very well and Yogeshwara, Lord Sri Krishna bless us all with knowledge and love for him. I'll meet you soon with another video. Radhe Radhe.